Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharzad and thank you for choosing to watch this video today. Today I'm going to unbox a tote bag from Ferragamo that I loved it on the website but I wanted to see how does it look like. We don't have any of those boutiques in Halifax so unfortunately this is the way it is. I order them, I see them, I try them on, I don't like them, I return them. I like them, I keep them. Unfortunately, it's that's the kind of a glitch for living in um, cities that you don't have luxury boutiques, but it's not end of the world. So, and uh, for Dior, for example, when you get to this elite uh, level or whatever that is, that you spend more than 50,000 US dollar with them, uh, they send me consignments for like $30,000 and uh, so I get a big box of so many things that I wanted to try. I try them, I would take whatever I want to pick and I'll send back whatever I don't want to pick. So we don't have to go through that whole, you know, exchange and return and deposit and pay. It's just less headaches. Anyways, let's get to opening this. Um... So this one has the Viva, uh, Viva Bow signature on it. I purchased their uh, loafers last year and they were so uncomfortable. Uh, I'm sorry, but they were. So I returned them. I don't own anything that has uh, the Viva Bow signature on them. So this would be my first time uh, getting one if I end up getting this bag. Okay nice dust bag they do come with big uh, fancy like not fancy but big spacious dust bags so you don't have to squeeze things in them oh this is cute yeah this is the size i was thinking so i usually wear my bags like this so i don't want them to be too heavy to kind of you know drag me down and uh yeah, I want it to be soft against my skin too. So, I'll just take off my watch. Yeah, no, it's nice that way. And uh, the color seems to be nice. The letter is nicer than what I thought. Um, what was the letter for this one? Um, I want to say lambskin, but I'm not sure. It's so soft, so that's why I'm kind of uh, suspicious that this is lambskin. It 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 does have a texture. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll take close up videos anyways. It does have a bit of texture, which helps with uh, you know not get a scratch as easy. Um, lovely. It does have four studs or feet and in a very cute way you can see that it's been embossed on them that for uh, salvatore ferragamo on all of them these are details that i pay attention and my sister doesn't give a damn any, about any of them so this is a signature viva bone unfortunately i'm not going to take this off unless i'm 100 percent i'm going to keep it i think i'm going to keep it because it's a brown that I don't have uh, my browns are mainly this colors so they're mainly beige not brown brown um, I do have one metallic one but I don't have anything brown so it's a good size and it's light and so let's just go in and see what it is so it does have apparently a magnetic uh, fastening snap here which is quite a strong it's just it is very strong which is good so you don't have to worry about this kind of goes like this and stuff and it kind of falls out uh, i'm gonna take the things inside out i know the strap is gorgeous but i haven't seen it myself So inside it's ah, so inside is just one compartment, 
and it's suede. No, 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 I lied. It's not suede. It's just a different texture of uh, leather. But I don't know if you can see. It's like a tiny bow they made inside on a flat the pocket or something that they have on the side. So I'll just take close up uh, video so you would be able to see better. Uh, so I knew that the strap is unattachable or disattachable, however you want to say it. But you can also tuck it in and then just wear it like this. What's wrong with that? Because it's not, the hooks are not outside. They are inside, so you can just tuck it in. And that's exactly how I pictured it. And the other good thing of it, which is again, with all these smart luxurious brands is, they have put these hooks diagonal, like uh, Dior as well. So when you use this strap, that also helps to close this better. It's the same as Dior that when you want to put the straps on, you would put it here and here, diagonal, so kind of it holds this closer. So it's kind of the same concept. And I'm going to open this. Wow, the chain is so shiny and elegant. It's not uh, old age and that kind of stuff. It's very similar of the chains that uh, Dior uses and I don't have any close by to show it to you, but I have to take this off. I have to, yeah, I have to take this off. It's uh, mainly leather here. Let me see if I can find a pair of scissors. I usually have one down here. take long okay that's not difficult okay this way you would see how the strap looks like that would have some value to the video okay so I can also cut it from the other side so it would be just all release and free Well, I don't know how it can be released because at the end it's going to be attached to it. Well, let's just do it half the way through here, half the way through there. Okay, so it's adjustable, like I said. And uh, it does have five holes in it. I will try it on and... Yeah, I was wondering if doing this diagonal thing would help the handles to be like more stand up and like this but i don't think that's the thing uh that's how it is with your uh yeah, i'll just have to try it on and see uh shoulder bag and also as a crossbody to see how it looks like and uh yeah the chain is quite a statement it's gorgeous it's uh it's very, very nice and well made. These are the details that I pay attention and my sister doesn't. And I know she's going to watch this video and then say, well, I haven't said her name, so she's safe. Uh, she can't yell at me for that. I'm just going to tuck this in for now. Close it back together. Show it like this. And it's very, very light. That's the part that I like about it. One compartment, uh, I'm sure you can find insert organizers to put in which they would kind of give you more of uh divided uh compartment uh zamuni.com which is a south korean uh website they do make these handmade uh organizers i don't know if they have anything for Peragamo. i have bought them for Louis Vuitton, hermes uh chanel and dior but i don't know if they have anything for Peragamo. but all these tote bags uh, or never full those, those bags the problem with them is there is not much compartment so you have to look for a while to find something in them but i'll look it up and let you guys know if there is any uh specific 
organizers that Zomoni makes for them because their organizers, they do have high quality and they're handmade. Uh, that way you can have, you know, you can divide your bag to, you know, 10 compartments and then don't look for something for half an hour. The magnet is very impressive, very strong. And, and the price for this is uh 1500 us dollar so the price for this is 1500 us dollar uh for a mid luxurious bag i would say that's amazing and it's not big it's handy like i said i will wear all these bags i'll promise and then you guys please help me to say which one to keep which one to send back and uh that's it for today so thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about this bag and if there is any cons that i don't see and i don't realize at this point uh that would bother me down the road because i do have ocd and i'm perfectionist and details bother me if they go wrong and stuff like that uh yeah surprise that's me <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye until the next video. Thank you.